hello guys welcome to my youtube channel today i'm going to be showing you how to make kili willy kili willy is a Ghanaian dish made with ripe plantains and variety of spices it is simply spicy fried plantain if you're new here welcome to uji's kitchen don't forget to hit the subscribe button and also hit the notification button to get notified whenever i upload more mouthwashing recipes also hit the like button so let's get into the cooking process these are the ingredients you'll be needing for this recipe you'll be needing some ripe plantains you'll also be needing some ginger powder black pepper blended udder seeds also known as negro pepper garlic powder cameroon pepper onion paste stock cubes and salt please feel free to add any spice of your choice so I'm gonna start by peeling my plantains. For this recipe, it is best to use overripe plantain. It is more delicious and the softness of the overripe plantain helps to absorb the spices than the normal ripe plantain. Peeled and washed my plantain. I'm just going to cut it into tiny bits don't forget to check the description box below for the quantity of ingredients I used for this recipe so I was supposed to inform you guys at the beginning of the video that I'm actually starting a plantain series so this Kiliwili recipe is my first plantain recipe I'll be showing you guys other weeks i'll show you guys other mouth watering plantain recipes so stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss the updates so i'm just gonna add in my stock cube i'm using just one stock cube for this recipe and i'll add the rest of the ingredients So I'm just going to stir this properly till it's well combined. Now I'm just going to fry my plantains. Stir it a bit so it doesn't cluster together. So we're just going to fry this till it's golden brown. our spicy fried plantain is ready and i'm going to take it out you guys this recipe is so yummy and delicious you need to try it out and let me know what you think about this recipe in the comment section below so that's how to make kele with it it's very simple and easy and you can get the ingredients anywhere thanks for watching